Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out this DIY mosaic coaster kit I got from Kmart. I saw this kit and I decided to give it a try so I can see how easy it is to put together and how it feels even after being put together. I might actually make this a series because I also noticed they had different kits there so I might actually make it a series and get more kits and test them out. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by here on this channel. My name is Jane and you can check out my other videos if you enjoyed today's video. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to unbox it. This is how it comes. You can see from here they said it has three plywood bases, which is this. It actually looks small. I thought it would be bigger than this, but it looks small. But that's fine. This is the base. It has the glue. I believe this is the glue right here. And then a bag of glass tiles. So this is what we have right here. This is the bag of glass tiles right here and then an instruction sheet so i'm going to put this away and then look at the instruction and get to putting it together now this is the instruction and i'm going to go through it basically it says prepare the tiles into three groups and they are different colors so you have these three colors based on this i'll just open it so you can see you can see the pink light pink there's also the green and there should be a blue one we also have white too so the white I'm just going to put together So basically it's saying the instruction sheet is saying you can actually draw a grid if you want to do that if it makes it easier and then place the tiles in a checker pattern and so you can see the pattern right here but i'm guessing you can decide to do it whichever way do something different if you want to do something different but that's the pattern they say you should place it in and i think for today i'll probably just go with the pattern and place it in this checkered pattern and then it says apply the glue to the back of the tile and place it on it or you can just put the glue on the back of the you can put the glue on the plywood base and then arrange the tiles on it so you choose whichever one you want to do i'm going to open this oh it's plywood so it's not that thick just yeah, thin. I'm wondering if you could put this, maybe get your own um, like ceramic coaster and put this, arrange it on it. And I think that might be something that will work. Maybe a glue that's stronger than this. I'm thinking that will be something that will work. That way, you have your own like plain coaster, let's say ceramic coaster you've gotten, and then you put it on it. That might have. Maybe that will feel like better quality. I know this plywood and yes, plywood, it is what it is. But if you want something thicker or something that feels um, stronger or heavier, you can probably use ceramic. But yeah, we're going to align it and see how it feels first before I give my final thoughts on it. So this is the glue. I'll just start with this one. Just putting the glue, glue on the back of it. This glue will be enough. So yeah, putting the glue on the back of it and then placing it down. Placing the glue straight onto the 
plywood. I feel like that will be easier. Well, that feels easier. I decided to just go through and put glue around it as I go and at the same time as I'm putting it down I'm also holding it to avoid it shifting you can see I touched the glue I'm just trying hard not to touch the glue but I'm also trying to hold it to avoid it moving too much trying to make sure that it is aligned as best as possible. So just make sure it's aligned as much as possible, as best as I can get it to be. I think it does look aligned. So I'll put this aside to dry and then I'm going to do this once and I'm just going to run through the process first, seeing as it's the same process of doing this one. So as you can see I'm done with it and yes I did a different pattern for this one I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and then I'll come back and just give my final thoughts on it so I've given this some time to dry and it is now dry I'll still leave it before using it but nothing is moving again before it was moving when I first put it down but it's all fixed now you can see that I did a different pattern here like I said earlier which you can do if you want to I just thought to do something else and I came up with this and these two are basically the same checkered pattern well yeah it's heavier than I thought um, at the beginning you know how I said the plywood was a bit light this makes it feel a bit thicker and I think another thing you can do is maybe paint the back if you don't like this um, the way the plywood looks maybe paint it or seal it or something like that well overall i think the instruction was easy to follow it's a great diy kit to get and do if you want to it was not also very messy even though i had glue a few times but that's because my hand kept on touching it but it was easy to do mess almost completely mess free and it's not as light as i was saying at the beginning and our good thing they did was give extra towels i mean not like you're going to destroy not like you're going to just break it but just in case so if you want to put this on something else you have extra tiles to put on something else add to any of your other DIY projects which I think is just great because then you have these extra tiles here I think this will also be a great um, date night 
idea so you just get this kit and you and your partner put these things together I'll give this a thumbs up in terms of how long it will last I don't know at this moment because I've not used it but I'm going to make sure I give it some time to dry fully before I start using it but I'm hoping it does last I think you can also repurpose this for something else you don't have to use it as a coaster I think you can just use it as a great retro decorative item at home yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing also you can check out other videos i've done until next time stay blessed i'll see you in my next video bye